for this very special broadcast, please welcome Dan of the He Who Crew. Hey, thanks Seth, for coming out, everyone. Woo, yeah. Uh, there, there's no one here. I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, woo. Okay. So, <clears throat> settle down, everyone. Settle down. <clears throat> so, welcome, everyone, to the first annual He Who Awards. Yeah. Okay, now, y you don't need me to tell you this, but this year, 2020, it kind of sucked. That's just a fact. Despite this, however, our channel kind of took off. Currently, we're at almost 80 subscribers. We'd just like to take a second to thank each and every one of you for, he for subscribing to our channel and to everyone who's helped our channel grow. Now, with that sappy stuff out of the way, let me get into the meat and potatoes of what we're doing here today. Today, we've compiled 15 different categories for people to vote on for our different members. These can range from overall favorite member of the crew to our metaphorical class clown, and some more interesting categories. Now, without further delay, let's just hop into it, shall we? Originally, we were just a podcast channel before we expanded to become a variety channel like we are today. To honor our beginnings, we had to ask our favorite members and closest friends what everyone's favorite episode was. With a fair majority above all other episodes, the collective favorite He Who podcast episode was... Episode 9! Love isn't cash money! Congrats to episode 9! Woo! Yeah! With our expansion of our channel to include gaming videos, of course we'd have to ask everyone what their favorite gaming video was. With another surprising majority lead, Everyone's favorite He Who gaming video was... He Who Unsolved the Chilling Bathroom of Daniel Jones! I guess everyone really liked that compilation at the end of the video. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, go watch the video then. Don't miss out on the fun. If you've been with us for a while, you may remember the sixth episode of our podcast where we discussed the events surrounding the Papa John CEO, and how we were all deathly afraid of him. You know, uh, the end is coming, how he ate 40 pizzas in 30 days, all that stuff. Very fun. However, us at He Who wished to see who would be most likely to try and fight this, uh, th <clears throat> this man. He is a man, right? Whatever. Uh, with with a resounding forty percent of the votes going to him, uh, Socrates takes this category. Yeah, good, good luck, man. You're gonna need it. <clears throat> now, for a while, we had hopped onto the Among Us bandwagon and had a blast trying to figure out who Among Us was the killer. Get it? Uh, I'm goddamn depressed. Anyways, who did we believe would be most likely to win as imposter? With a colossal 62% majority lead, Socrates dominates this category. Congrats again, man. Woo! In yet another category that was won in a landslide, it's no secret that we aren't fans of a particular video game of the year. <coughs> Last of Us 2. <coughs> it, it, you know what? You've seen our videos. You know who it is. Just f Flash's name up there. You, you know who it is. Now, these next three categories are all similar in what they asked. Who is most likely to become president of a small nation? But we added in a little caveat to each question. Ooh. 
The first of these three specifications was who would lead the small nation to victory and success. Now, this leads somewhat into our Minecraft SMP, go check it out if you haven't, as the winner of this category is none other than President of Gunkrockburg, Socrates! Woo! Yeah! You're winning a lot, man. Congrats! Now, the second specification was who would, was who would lead this small nation to ruin. We're not going to specify how or why, but just be careful of going to any nation that this person leads in the future. Who should you be fearful of? Well, none other than Jude! Fear him! Fear his overwhelming chaotic energy! Fear his ability to bring his own nation down to ashes? Uh, yeah, yeah, congrats Jude! Lastly, who's the most likely to become a leader of a small nation and take over the world with it? <laughs> You'd best be careful around this person. Becoming their enemy doesn't bode well for you. They take your land, your women, and most importantly, your llamas. The winner of this category is... Also? Jute? Uh... That's confusing. <clears throat> now, we're all fans of anime here at Hihu. Yes, even you, Kyle. We all watch anime together or alone. But has it perhaps begun to rub off on us? Who among us has become the most akin to an anime character? According to the polls, it's Socrates! Just pray that he isn't an anime character from something like Berserk or Attack on Titan. For our sakes, please. Now, here at Hihu, we're all internet funny men. We all make jokes, we all like to have our goofs, and we all like to engage in a little horseplay. Uh, is that the right term? I, I, don't, I don't know, just go look it up on Urban Dictionary or something. In our hearts, the biggest goofball award easily goes to Jute. Congrats, man. You're the internet funny man. Yeah! As much as we'd like a little knock-knock joke here and there, we tend to get some more dark comedy on the show. Now, who out of all of us has the darkest sense of humor? According to the polls, that award would go to none other than Kyle! Maybe take it a few notches down, man. You're scaring the kids. Please, for all of our sakes. On a similar note, we asked our peers who we believe is the most likely to be sent to jail at some point in their lives. For legal reasons, this is a joke, as well as this crime will remain undisclosed. Actually, should we just scrap this category? It's kind of... Uh, 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 well, um... <clears throat> well, th there you go. It, it's Kyle. <clears throat> One of our series on our channel that really helped us take off was He Who Unsolved, where we scoured the several maps of Phasmophobia in search of paranormal activity. In our episodes and off-camera, several of us died. According to us, who was the most likely to die in one of these investigations? The answer is apparently... Misha! Yeah! My best buddy's gonna get crinkled by a ghost! Yeah! What do you mean my mic is on? Now, here comes the last two categories. Favorite guest on the podcast, and everyone's favorite member of the Hihu crew. We'll end off with everyone's favorite member of the channel, so we'll get to our favorite special guest of the podcast first. With an extremely funny and amusing 69% majority, our favorite special guest, rather guess, would be none other 
than the last stand developers for Left 4 Dead 2. Congrats, fellas. We're looking forward to playing with you guys again in our Versus series. And we're not going to lose again. Of course we are. Don't let me kid you. And now, it's all come down to this. A year of content, a year of videos, and a ton of new faces being introduced to the channel. Who is our favorite member of us all? In a very close poll, just winning by the skin of his teeth, we'd like to congratulate Mike on winning the favorite member of the He Who Crew Award! We'd like to crown him as Mr. He Who for the following year. Follow him on Twitter, at Mark, you know Mark. Congrats, man, and congrats to everyone who won an award. We'll see you next year. Wait, who cut off the lights? What's going on? Whoa, 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 what the hell is that? Whoa, holy shit, get, get this thing off me! Ah!